Yeah, that doesn't taste normal. Bye, mom. Oh my goodness. It's okay, baby. It's okay, mom. Today was a very hard start to the day. We took Kylie to her four month vaccines. Definitely not a pleasant thing to do as a parent. Uh, you saw the two month vaccine that we did, horrible experience. And then this one went a slight little bit better because we knew what we were going into. But Kylie on the other hand took it a little bit worse. She cried a little bit more. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant for us to see at all. Uh, but we were running up there and I want to bring you guys along now to what we got for lunch We were fasting. We're about to break the fast at it's 12 46. So we're gonna break the fast at about 1 p.m. Today um, And get an hour early because we're pretty hungry and we didn't have our black coffee today We went straight to the doctor But um, I'm gonna show you guys what we got and what you guys can get as well if you were not a meal perhaps like I did already um, Obviously going out to like a restaurant is out of the picture because we're too close to the photo shoot. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick meal that you can get when you're in a rush. Let's go inside. All right, check out what we got. We got oven baked chicken breast, a whole chicken, and then two breasts on the side, two extra breasts. So we got four breasts total. Got some simply steamed chopped spinach, no sauce, rice, cauliflower, and cheese sauce. Macros and these are very friendly. We got broccoli and zesty cheese sauce. I got two servings of food here, so I'm gonna eat some of these later. Right now I'll probably have these two. And then I bought some garden salad. And then I bought a super green blend. A little bit of all the good greens. We got blueberries here and then we got peaches. I'm gonna slice up the peaches, blueberries, put them in the salad and then have some regular lettuce. And that will be our meal. So I'm about to chop all this up and show you guys what the final product looks like. And bon appetit, here we go. We have our entire meals cooked. We're not cooked, it was already pre-cooked. All we did was microwave some veggies and then chop up some fruit and bam, here it goes. Very quick, easy, macro friendly, ready to go. We got eight ounces of uh, rotisserie style chicken. We took out the skin as much as we could. Eight ounces measured out on the food scale. We got chopped spinach. We got our rice cauliflower with our cheese sauce. And we have our diet hack right here. Bunch of volume in this salad. What we have here, we got uh, lettuce. We got baby chart, spinach. I believe some kale, we got blueberries, 50 grams only, measured out, and then half of a peach as well, measured out. Bam, this whole salad right here, under 100 calories. There's no croutons, probably not gonna add any on here, doesn't need it, um, I'm probably just gonna eat like this. If anything, I might add some light Italian on here. Here, you're trying to get in shape, you're trying to get it in, no time, here we go, it's very quick, easy, stop at your local grocery store, pick up a rotisserie style chicken, take out the skin, get a bunch of fruits and vegetables, let's go, let's roll. So just got done eating my delicious meal and I am extremely full. It was a great meal and keep me satisfied definitely that I broke my fast. So I just started fasting. The reason I started fasting is because a lot of the times I'm not hungry for breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast eater. I've said this in years before. If you guys look at my um, prep videos, whenever I was like in 2016, I believe I was on fast whenever I was uh, doing a competition in men's physique. Uh, I was doing a lot of intermittent fasting and the reason I was doing that is to have bigger meals later on throughout the day, they're gonna fill me out more. So I'm not that big on breakfast, so I'd rather just get breakfast and have bigger a bigger lunch, have bigger snacks and have a bigger dinner because I tend to get very hungry at dinner since I'm on my feet a lot throughout the entire day at the gym, training clients, uh, you know, 45 minutes of cardio followed by an hour and a half to two hours of workout. I get extremely hungry by the time I get home. And honestly, whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm just not hungry at all. So anyways, I wanted to um, come with, I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Um, I found these on Amazon. It was an Amazon recommendation and I got emails about them. For the longest time, I've been looking for like the best wireless earbuds um, because I have the JBL Dwayne Johnson ones, the, the, like the big ones, but I feel like those kind of like bother my ears a lot and they, they just don't feel like comfortable. And I feel like honestly, the sound quality let me down just a little bit because I paid like 200, 250 for them. I'm like, man, you know, like I was expecting them to be a little bit better for that price range. I, my little, my free ones that Apple came with, that came on my Apple phone are better. Obviously they're wired. So sometimes wired is going to be more powerful than Bluetooth, but free versus 250. Yeah. Like I was expecting the JB almost to be a little bit better, but I found these and um, I suppose they're really good. They're called Tozos. So they're right here. I myself a pair and then my wife a pair. These here are the Tozos uh, N79 upgraded, and these are the Tozos N79 Plus. 
because apparently the difference is just like some are like newer features um and they're like better noise cancellation but when i saw the reviews they're almost identical so i decided to get myself one of the pairs and then one for my wife and see which ones we like better and if they're even worth the price difference the regular tozos nc9 upgraded are like 40 bucks and then the tozo nc9 plus are like 80 90 bucks i believe um, but we're about to find out and I'm going to tell you guys an honest review on what I think about them I mean, honestly, I figured you can't go wrong even for like, you know, $80 headphones If they're not that good, they're only $80. I was looking at Bose and Bose's were like 150 to 200 and I, I was like, man, you know what? Like, let me just try these out if I don't like them I'll go with the Bose but from the reviews that I've seen on Bose some they're like hit or miss It's like some people say they're great. Some people say they're not that great and on these Tozos Again, they were recommended by uh, Amazon and they're supposedly really great. And uh, so we're gonna give them a try. And I mean, if they're not that good, hey, it's only 80 bucks, I'll get some more, right? Whatever the case may be. But these reviews, like there were like so many reviews and they were all great reviews. So I'm gonna do some unboxing, plug them up to my Bluetooth and let you guys know. Quick update on these uh, headphones that I got, the Tozos. They are like fantastically amazing actually, like really. Um, for the price, you, you're gonna you're gonna get your best bang for your buck. They're so much better than my JBL, uh, the Project Rock ones. I'm sorry, I love Dwayne Johnson, but yeah. And then for the price too, they're just so much better. As far as you know, terms of how long will they last? I don't know. Today's the first day, but they 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 come in a really solid case. They feel very high quality, so I love them. And I'll be you know kind of keeping you guys updated as far as you know battery life. Um, you know, in terms of durability, but from so far, I put them in, kind of jumped around a little bit, did some jumping jacks, wiggled my ears like this, and they stay in perfect. So I'm bringing you guys along with me now to the gym. Let's see if my camera stays, because I'm just literally just sat it here. It's, I don't know if it does. Um, yeah, there it goes, moving. But um, bringing you guys along to the gym with me now, it is a super hot day in Texas, extremely hot, hotter than it should be, honestly. Uh, it's like a hundred degrees like 98 degrees is marking but we've got a heat wave heat index of like 105 110 degrees and it's not even summertime yet i know it's june so many people are like oh it's june quit complaining it's supposed to be hot it's not even summertime yet summertime officially starts until june the 21st it's not even summertime yet it's been so hot for like the past month already and the heat started like as soon as the spring started it was just crazy but anyways, guys, I'm bringing you guys along with me. I think I'm gonna stop by the gas station, get me a nice little pre-workout, and then we can get moving on. I'll be sipping on that pre-workout right now on the way to the gym, because I don't really feel energized, but that's okay. Let's go, heading on out to the gas station now. Getting the Ghost pre-workout. I got my Ghost Pump product at the gym, which if you guys haven't got yet, you guys are sleeping on it. They just launched uh, their new flavor out on their pre-workout. I got the pump product. I ordered the pre uh, the pre-workout as well. Pre-workout is bubblicious, tastes amazing. The nitric oxide is a pump product. I got the pineapple flavor, tastes fantastic. So if you haven't yet, you're sleeping on it, guys. If you haven't yet, be sure to go check it out. Go to ghost.com, check out the um, pre-workout, which is a uh, legend. And then check out their nitric oxide, which just gives you six pumps. Sick pumps, sex, sex pumps, sick pumps. Um, and yeah, let's get it in. Make sure to power through your workout, power down to the metal, baby. Let's go. Stop by to get a quick little pre workout. Didn't get the ghost, decided to go with the C4 peach mango nectar because it's a hot peach mango nectar. Nectar, I can't speak today because it is a very hot day, like I told you guys. And I need something refreshing with zero calories. So check out C4, we are sponsored by c4 not really but check out c4 man um and ghost for your pre-workout products this is just a quick on the go pre-workout so i'm not cheating on ghost ghost is still the best in my eyes but this tastes so fresh it tastes so good so definitely be sure to if it's a hot summer day wherever you're at grab you a c4 peach mango nectar i think i said that right Good morning, America. Let's make today a great day. Whatever it is you're doing, it is a hot day. Still continued. It's 8.45 a.m. and it's about 90 degrees out here. Extremely humid. Let's, get, let's make it a great day, though. We're about to take out C8. Let's go. We're going to get her detailed out ready for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to go out with Chris. As you guys know, Chris Grindhard, I am his best man. And um, we got some 
marriage shenanigans to go do. But I got to go train a client. going to go do my cardio. And we're going to get started for the day. Let's take you guys on a ride. Apparently, we're blocked off, man. Because there is like a big biker scene around here. I wish I would have taken the other street if I would known any better. It's like a huge marathon. And I don't know how much longer these guys are going to take. Today, nonetheless, we got cardio. So we're going to go out and do some cardio. As soon as I get unstuck from this horrible traffic jam of these bikers that they got going on it's so bad man i'm already running late i just need to get out of here let's go i'll catch you guys we're bringing you guys along this adventure today i'm hoping that it is a great and beautiful day i know it's going to be a great and beautiful day because it all starts up here and it all starts with the mentality to just start the day off with i woke up i started my day uh in scripture I've read Isaiah 43, and it was just a beautiful passage. Just remember, it reminding me, and, and you know, I encourage you guys as you're signing out to go open your Bible and go to Isaiah 43. It just reminds us that God is always with us and he never leaves us. No matter what, sometimes we face difficult trials in our lives and we feel like we're all alone. And we shouldn't feel that way because it's, it's God's promise that he's forever going to be with us. And a lot of times we take it as, God, why are you putting me through this hard time? I thought that, you know, some people may say, if God is love, why is he putting me through this? Well, guys, God didn't promise us, you know, sunshines and rainbows. Unfortunately, I don't like to say that, but God never promised that we would never face difficult times. Because actually it's difficult times that a lot of the times he, he tests our faith. And he, you know, it, whenever we overcome them, we become stronger and better individuals and we just become better honestly you know we learn from 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 these mistakes this is where that's like our learning phase but one thing that he did promise us is that he would never leave us so just remember whatever you got going on today god will never leave you he's always by your side trust in his word he loves you he loves us all we're all children of him so i'm gonna drive on out to the gym now because it looks like i'm finally moving a little bit much love guys have a great day have an amazing day have an amazing weekend of worship much love guys I'm still bring you guys along the day so let's go it doesn't even make any sense as to how hot it is such an early start in the day it's so humid my hands are sweating I'm getting out of the car it's walking around it's really 9 a.m so humid out here it's texas heat is killing me that concludes today's morning we not got a client out to our 30 minutes cardio for today what's up guys we are on our way to go pick up chris we just got done here at the gym so much fun doing our cardio it's a hot day today like i told you guys earlier i don't want to make this like day too long so i'm gonna just like give you guys a recap of what's gonna happen today is a pretty cool and interesting day so as you guys know chris with grand heart fitness I'm his best man at his wedding. Uh, he already got married through the courthouse, but he's now getting married through the church. Getting married to the church next month on July the 23rd. Uh, we are about a month and like two weeks away from that wedding date. So today we're gonna go out, we're gonna get tailored, we're gonna get measured, we're gonna get all that good stuff basically done and taken care of. Um, right after that, what we got going on is essentially uh, we have to wash the car probably beforehand actually we're gonna go out and wash the CA because it just got rented out right after that we got going on uh, we got to do delivery so we're delivering the car at 5 p.m. Chris's bachelor party essentially it's a day also it's at 5 p.m. so we got to like drop off the car and then rush back to Chris's house it's a more like a kind of get together at his place we're essentially just gonna you know be at the pool kind of hanging out um, you know eating some chicken because we're on prep right now and we can't really afford the bad calories um, so it's pretty much just a day filled with uh, daily activity spending it with Chris spending it with family spending it with loved ones and that's basically it. So I'm gonna go, I'm about to go pick up Chris right now. I'm taking you guys along with me. We're gonna go on out to get the car washed, get it detailed, and then we'll go get tailored out. We're gonna go have some fun. So let's make it a good day, guys. Made it out to the wedding shenanigans with Chris Robles. Chris, we're about to go in and get tailored, Doc. This is your moment of truth. We're a month out, bro. You are two weeks out from your month and two weeks out from your wedding. Oh, yeah. Two weeks out from the competition. 
And a week out from UBO Expo, there's so much going on. We're nappy as hell, but we're out here making it happen. At your men's warehouse. Should be told, we're probably gonna get tailored right now. We're still shrinking sizes because we're still cutting. We're probably it's gonna fit us a little bit loose. The wedding and then like after that, it's gonna fit us like real tight. Um, because bulk and cutting life, but let's get it in. Let's go tailored. Keep you guys posted. Update you guys. We um, they rescheduled the time to pick up one of the cars, so we gotta wait a little bit. I'm sitting here working, creating some notes, setting myself up for the week so a lot of the times you know people think that owning a gym business or being a personal trainer is just you know a lot of just training in reality it's not the case it's a lot of like back-end stuff that you got to do i'm taking care of that today i've been doing this for like the past like two hours now and i'm like i'm done i'm done for the day maybe because i'm running on low fumes i need some energy um man i'm just so ready to call it a day and go relax my mind a little bit but um, this stuff has to get done. So you know what? It's okay. We, we got to do what we got to do, guys. Like, when you, when you want to do something, when you chase after something, just continue to chase after it. You know, day in, day out, every single day. Never let your foot off of that pedal. We must continue to strive. We must continue to, to go after it. Doesn't matter what it is, even when you feel like giving up. You know what? Just tell yourself, I'm not going to do it because we're just not going to. So we're going to keep on pushing, pushing pedal to the metal, baby. Let's go. We're going to go out. We have about another hour-ish yeah exactly another hour before we head out and we go do our drop off for the vehicle so we're gonna make the best out of the day let's make it happen i'm done with all the back end stuff for the gym now now to go work for done i got my stuff here because i'm in my office so in my office always set up obviously when you're in your office you need to have all your essentials right so check this out if i can open this up there's a new box man all right it's a new box Freshly made. We're done working without aesthetics for today. Can't get it out, man. I'm just gonna get out multiple of them. Done working without aesthetics for today, and now we're gonna go work for nightlife luxury rentals. Nightlife luxury rentals. Get your get your nice vehicle rented out for the weekend, for the weekday. If you need a nice luxury vehicle, if you want to make a music video photo shoots, whatever, hit up Nightlife Luxury Rentals. We will be sure to take great care of you for all your car daily photo shoot rental needs. Let's go. We're going to go out and take the beautiful C8 out to get rented out right now. Getting booked out until Monday. So that's going good. Gym is going good, but we must continue to pedal to the metal, baby. Let's go. After this, we're going to go to Chris's house. Like I said, we are, he's having his like little bachelor party. It's more like a kind of like a get together with everybody. And yeah, we're gonna just go relax. I'm hungry. I feel like I have no energy, but let's chase after it, man. Let's go. Good morning, Americas. We are starting off our day with a black coffee. Check it out. So we got black coffee. We're fasted right now. We got black coffee. And what we actually went ahead and did was learn this through CG Guzman himself. We get a half a scoop of protein. He does a quarter out. They do half a scoop, get a little bit more. I get a half a scoop. I mix it in with like about four ounces of water. And then once my coffee is made, I just dump my protein in my black coffee, use that as my creamer rather than using a creamer, um, I use protein. And then I add two packets of sweet and low and or stevia, mix it in here. I add ice because I don't like hot coffee. I hate hot coffee, especially when it's like hundred degrees outside. So I got a nice ice cold coffee, very macro friendly rather than, you know, doing all these other sweeteners. Um, I just like to do my protein. And that is what I got. So I got about 13 grams of protein right here. Black coffee is two grams of carbs. Um, this is two, another two grams of carbs, so four grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein. And that's how I'm starting off my day fasted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on out to the gym right now, get fasted cardio, and then start my workout. And let's get it in. Fasted right now because we're getting so close to the photo shoot. It's currently where we're at. So let's go. Let's head on out to the gym now. Let's go. App check. Let's create an ab check first thing in the morning, fast it again. We're gonna go out, do our 45 minutes of cardio, start our leg workout. 
Let's go. Let's chase after it. This weekend is a big weekend as we got UBO Expo at Alpha Aesthetics Gym, setting up as vendors. And the next weekend, we're going out to Houston Alpha Land where Chris is competing in the summer shredding events. We got big things going on this week. And next week, let's make the best out of it. Continue to stay on our diet. Let's chase after it.